precious people. If you are sitting there in your living room, that hotel room, a motel, or you are receiving this even by audio through some radio, someone is sending it to you by phone. Whichever way, if you feel in your life that your salvation has not presented the hallmark, the feature, the characteristic of obedience to the Lord. Then the Lord is saying, this is the hour at which we need to change conformity and become more heavenly and become obedient. And if that is you, even at home, and you have never received the Lord before, and now you feel like this word has touched you, you want now to obey. Obey the cross at Calvary and the blood. Obey the call to salvation. Repeat this prayer. Say, dear Jesus, I have heard your word. Your holy word. And Lord, I know that your word is established in heaven. And I ask you, my father, my everlasting father, to establish your word in my life. The word of salvation. I repent of all sins and receive you in my life. Precious Jesus, please transform me and withdraw me from focusing on the life in the world, on this earthly living, and change me and redirect me to be more heavenly focused that I may enter heaven, the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am born again. If you have said that prayer again, as have you heard in this broadcast, this is not some kind of gimmick or trick. This is now the holy word. It's about salvation. The salvation of the cross. And it's not about money. This is about preparing you that after living this short life on this earth, you can have eternal peace with God. Make sure you're baptized and you find a Bible teaching church. Not a church where the pastor is comical, comedian, making you laugh. I am talking about a church where the pastor is teaching salvation. Salvation of the cross. Salvation of the blood. The old rugged cross. The abandoned cross. The cross at Golgotha. May the Lord bless you. Prepare the way. The Messiah is coming. Shalom. Todarabah. Todalahem. Amen.